America, the world's greatest democracy. And if we say we believe in democracy, the power of our democracy. 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 This is a democracy. Usual rhetoric and language of our public officials uh, and within the media is uh, the language of democracy. The constitutional principle of Republican government means that the people select representatives to make and carry out laws. Are the American people fit to govern themselves, to rule themselves, to control themselves? For the British colonists living in North America in the 18th century, Republican government was the only theoretical alternative form to monarchy. When the colonies separated from England, the American people would begin an experiment in self-government. What form would that government take? convention. What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? Though many refer to the United States as a democracy, this is not accurate. The United States is not a democracy, but rather a constitutional republic. A constitutional republic uh, would be a republic that bounded government, that limited government. Uh, and for the American people of the revolutionary period, a, gov a constitutional government would have been a government that would have respected uh, the rights of the people and afforded certain protections for those rights. And we, we need to link those two things. Otherwise, it becomes then too easy to uh, fault the system for not being purely democratic. Well, it wasn't intended to be a pure democracy. It's impossible to know everything the founders believed and wanted, and they didn't all feel the exact same way about most issues. But they all wanted to establish a system that would best protect liberty, and they saw that democracy was just as dangerous to liberty as monarchy. The majority could not be trusted with people's rights any more than a monarchy could be. Direct democracy had been tried through history, and it repeatedly failed. Arguing against the direct election of the president by the people at the Constitutional Convention, Elbridge Gerry said, The evils we experience flow from the excess of democracy. The people do not want virtue but are the dupes of pretended patriots. Writing in the Federalist Papers, James Madison observed in 1787, Pure democracies have ever been spectacles of turbulence and contention, have ever been found incompatible with personal security or the rights of property, and have in general been as short in their lives as they have been violent in their deaths. Republican government was one way the founders worked to correct the problems that would come with a majority rule system. Most had concluded that a Republican government required a small territory, as well as a virtuous citizenry, in order to work. While Madison knew that a virtuous citizenry was needed, he turned the small territory idea on its head. A large or extended republic, he asserted, would better protect liberty. The people, he said, would naturally divide themselves into groups, which he called factions. Factions would have different interests, different beliefs, and different desires. These many different factions over a large extended republic would prevent a majority of citizens coming together to oppress a minority. A further check on the power of the majority would be the election of representatives. Rather than directly governing, the people would vote for people to represent their interests. Madison wrote in Federalist 39, We may define a republic to be a government which derives all of its powers, directly or indirectly, from the great body of the people, and is administered by persons holding their offices during pleasure for a limited period or during good behavior. So, if the U.S. is not a democracy, why do we often hear the phrase majority rule? Does the majority always rule? Should it? It's okay. It's a democracy. Uh, I don't need or I didn't need, you know, 100 uh, percent to prevail. I only needed 50 percent plus one. Are there some things a majority cannot do, even if everyone in that majority wants the same thing? How would you know what those things are? We know, as Abraham Lincoln said in the Gettysburg Address, that the United States of America has a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And we also know that John Adams warned in 1814, Remember, democracy never lasts long. It soon wastes, exhausts, and murders itself. There never was a democracy yet that did not commit suicide. Some have compared a democracy to two wolves and a sheep voting on what to eat for dinner. Democracy alone is not enough to protect everyone's rights. Something more is needed. 
A study of the Constitution reveals the founders heeded this warning and took many measures, including Republican government, to ensure the blessings of liberty for posterity.